Hello everyone, this is Ray Space and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I asked the question, if we expended a starship-like stage that doesn't have fins and doesn't have heat shield tiles and all that business, it's just a tank, no front end, could that sort of second stage on top of Super Heavy, which will be recovered, launch Orion and its regular service module all the way to the moon? Uh, in other words, there's no ICPS, there's no EUS, there's no stage that's supposed to send it to the moon. It's just the same stage that completes orbit, which will be not reusable. It's not coming back or anything like that. Uh, but it does save us a stage if it can do this. I don't know if it can do this. Now, what we got as parameters right now is that the drive mass is 55 tons. That doesn't include the engine mass or the sort of engine shroud here or the top adapter there. Just 55 tons of tank. And that has a total wet mass of 1,200 tons when fully fueled. That's the fuel that we've got down there. And, you know, I don't know how massive a tank like this would be, uh, though... You know, I assume the tiles and the fins account for something in Starship's dry mass. It sort of depends. But that's what we've got right now. And can that sort of mass handle this job? That is the question, and I am going to attempt to answer it. Now, the reason I have to do an actual launch in order to figure this out is because I sure aren't getting the Delta V reading here. And actually that burn time isn't right because that's just counting the vacuum engines because of the way things are staged with the hot staging. Uh, even if I remove the hot staging though, it doesn't seem to tell me how much delta V I actually have. So yeah, that's the problem. All right, and we'll line up with the moon, but I, I'm but as long as we have the delta V to go, well, I should probably double check it. We'll send it on a trajectory to the moon, but we won't actually arrive because after that it's just the service module and we know what that can do. So we will do TLI to transfer to the moon. Lost some electric charge, but not that much fuel. Oh, it's the same cloud that I had on the previous, in the previous so, uh, Realism Overhaul Sandbox episode. But anyway, throttle up, SAS on, ignition. Launch. All right, in the cloud. Whoa, we got some weird shakes there. But okay, through the cloud. Huh, that was weird. Oh. Uh, the fairings here are falling off for some reason. I don't know why. Huh. That's random. Okay, random things have gone wrong. Structural failures on the fairings happened. Maybe I should just restart the game. That seems like a good time to restart the game. Yeah, I don't I don't think that went it's just randomly all exploding. Probably shouldn't be happening like that. Are you going to explode too? It lost the heat shield even. Okay, yeah, let's let's just restart the game. All right, after a restart, it seemed to wiggle badly on the stock launch pad, so we're here at 39B and we'll try it here. Throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. And launch. Okay, we are through the cloud. Past the speed of sound. Alright, it looks good so far, though I don't want to jinx it. Okay, switching off some engines. Hot staging. Throttle up. And launch escape system jettison. Ok, 
Okay, we'll have to throw down. The G-forces are getting high, but it doesn't look like we have enough right now. Okay, shut down. A bit lopsided, but we are in orbit and we have 2,840 when really we want 3,140, so 300 short. Well, tell you what I'm going to do. I don't think we need that much thrust. Um, we could probably just have one sea level engine. After all, this isn't going to land again. Uh, and maybe that would be more efficient. So I'm going to try that out and see if it helps. Now, this change gives us apparently 0.63 thrust to weight ratio there. I think it's more than that, but yeah, it's not going to be high. Then again, upper stages can have that, especially if the first stage is one that tends to take a steep trajectory so it can get back to the landing site. So, yeah, we'll just go with that and see how it does. Okay, here we go. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition, and launch. And we are through the cloud. Okay, throttling down. Okay, shutting down. Hot stage. Staging. Full thrust. And launch escape system. So, six and a half minute burn time now. That's not too bad, it's like a Falcon 9 upper stage. And some of it's gonna be for TLI after all. Alright, not looking so great, so maybe the opposite tact would be better? Put more engines and then have a bigger tank? Because we end up there basically in the same place. So, not much better, even though we cut out the engines, we lost the thrust to weight ratio, so we minus the mass, but we also minus the thrust to weight ratio, so it ended up not being so great. Also, the average ISP should have improved, but still, it didn't help us much. Alright, so I've put six vacuums and one sea level, so seven engines altogether, not the nine engines that they were also contemplating. Uh, but because I don't think we need more than one sea level in this case. And I had underutilized this tank anyway, so we're going to up the utilization. Um, let's say 1,350 tons altogether. And, you know, we don't want to do too much more because then we overburden Super Heavy and it won't be efficient for Super Heavy. Then again, we're not carrying that much on top, so anyway. But we've upped the utilization from 80 to 90. Let's try that and see if that helps. Okay, for once I would like to launch without that cloud in the way. And we're probably going to get that huge cloud again. So I'm not going to line up with the moon. We're just going to see if I have enough delta V for the lunar transfer once we get up there. And we'll judge from that. So SAS on, throttle up, ignition. Launch. Okay, shutdowns, hot staging. Throttle up. This time, because this is heavier, that did not end up going as high up. Launch escape system jettison. Just watch, it all cancels out and it's all useless. I mean, in theory, we shouldn't be relying on one stage for everything, of course. Uh, that's not numerically optimal. To get this much delta V out of a single stage is ridiculous. 8,000 meters per second. However, it can be cheaper that way. So, especially if you're dead set on putting Orion on Starship Super Heavy. 
but yeah, I mean, if we could rely on the service module to do a little bit of the transfer, that'd be great, but it doesn't have a whole lot to work with anyway. Of course, I've already done the video where I replaced it with the Blue Moon lander, tra lander tanks and engines, and in that case, it can handle it. That would be the better solution. Now for the flyby mission, this would be fine. I mean, you could underfuel the service module for the flyby mission around the moon, but uh, what's the point of doing all this adaptation just for a flyby mission? Not much purpose. This would only be if you wanted to do extra missions with Orion, a whole lot of missions. And right now it's not looking like we'll have quite enough. It's an improvement, but not enough. And of course, the bigger we make this, the worse off it is for Super Heavy. If we could get a little bit more out of Super Heavy, that could work out, but... I think we're shutting it off basically where they would shut it off, so... Well, I ended up a little bit lopsided, so it's not quite good, but... Yeah, <laughs> I ended up in with the same uh, a little bit high on the apoapsis. We probably got another extra hundred or so, but yeah, it seems like any variation of this theme, given the mass of the tank as I have it, uh, leads us to the same conclusion. Uh, it's not quite enough, but it's so close. This is why I tried it out. So yeah, but the modification of the service module, like just using the Blue Moon. Uh, instead, uh, could work out. So anyway, that is the result. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.